we consider k out of n redundancies, uh, let n be the number of redundant, identical, and independent components, each having a reliability of r. And x is a random variable representing the number of components out of n components that are operating. Then uh, the probability of an exact value of x, uh, or number of uh, components that are um, functioning, is given with this binomial relationship, which you may remember as the binomial probability function, where the first term is a combination of n given x, uh, second term is the reliability or the probability of success raised to the power of x, and the third term is the probability of failure or 1 minus reliability raised to the power of n minus x. Also, if k components must operate for the system to operate, that means that uh, we need to have at least k number of components working so that the system doesn't fail, then the reliability of that system is given with this relationship, which is the summation of all the probabilities of x from where x goes from k to n. So we can extend this to the exponential distribution. Uh, if you remember from your uh, book, we have the bathtub curve where between, in, in this range right here, in this time frame, um, probability of success or reliability is constant. And when reliability is constant, we can use the exponential distribution. So um, here we are um, computing the reliability of the system. Uh, and the way we do that is again, um, this is the same application as we had here, but now um, we are, um, actually, I'm sorry, we, uh, it's the same application that we had, um, that we had here, and um, for the probability, remember we had uh, reliability raised to the power of x for this term, and so what is that reliability for the exponential? It is uh, e to the negative lambda times t, um, and because we have the x, we'll have the x there. So this is where we get this term from. And then this was um, 1 minus, um, and then this one was um, uh, 1 minus r raised to the power of n minus x. And uh, 1 minus r, or 1 minus the reliability, is um, 1 minus e to the negative lambda to the t. So that's where we get that, and then of course we must raise it to the power of n minus x. All right, so um, so that's uh, the reliability for the system, and then um, mean time to failure is given with this relationship, 1 over lambda um, times um, the sum loop of 1 over x, where x goes from k to n. So here's an example. Out of the 12 identical AC um, generators on the C5 aircraft, at least nine must be operating in order for the aircraft to complete its mission. Failures are known to follow an exponential distribution with a mean of 100 operating hours. So um, there is 100 hours between failures, so lambda is 1 over 100. So every 100 hours we have one failure. What is the reliability of the generator system over a 10-hour mission? So, and and then uh, find the mean time to failure. So to find the probability, uh, we strictly use the uh, exponential uh, function. We have e to the negative lambda times t, and in this case our lambda is negative 1 over 1, uh, is, is 1 over 100, so negative 1 over 100 times 10. And that's where we get this uh, exponent. All right, and um, so the answer is 0 0.905. Then the reliability for the system is the sum loop of um, this uh, ter equation right here. So um, uh, plugging in for uh, this probability that we just found, in here as the reliability, and um, then 1 minus that is the failure, and then of course our uh, 
x is 9 and our um, n is 12 because in this problem we have 12 identical AC generators and 9 of them must be operating. Okay, so with that we get 0.9782 as, uh, as the reliability for the system. Now to compute the mean time to failure, and you can ignore this, I copied this, uh, I duplicated this uh, slide so I forgot to remove that. But the mean time to failure, again uh, in the previous slides I had shown you this and um, lambda is uh, 1 over 100, so 1 over lambda is that um, failure time, so that's the 100 that we have here, um, and um, x ranges from 9 to 12, and if you go through that math you get 38.5, so every 38 and a half hours almost is the average time to failure. Okay, thank you.